Hello everyone, I'm Timothy Duffelbaugh here. Hope you guys are doing well uh, this evening on Friday. Uh, wanted to go live just for a couple minutes. It's Friday night, it's been a long week, I'm sure for many of you. Uh, this is a very important uh, time of the week uh, for those of you who are on your journey to success because it means that for many of you, you have two full days um, to do anything you want to do really. Uh, so I wanted to give you uh, kind of you know three uh, keys or, or soft skills uh, that are uh, able to increase your income. I did a blog on this. If you missed the blog, I'm going to give them to you right here. So stick around with me. Thanks for joining, Ted. Um, so first and foremost, um, you know obviously I believe in in resting at least you know one day out of the week, just by virtue of you know running you know to and fro. Uh, all week long and I, I think rest is important uh, to to your well-being if you read anything at all but um, but definitely you know tomorrow uh, Saturday or Sunday whichever day uh, you choose if you have the day off you know this is a time for you to work on your skills is a time for you to invest in yourself is a time for you to maybe pick up a book and read or uh, take some additional courses or watch some, some videos. You know, yes, there's TV, there's Netflix, there's family time, there's all those different things, but uh, there's a lot of time available. Um, and it's good that, you know, you allocate at least some of that time uh, in investing in yourself. So I'm, I'm going to give you those three keys, uh, three soft skills uh, to increase your income. Number one is communication. Uh, communication skills are second to none uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and your ability to increase your income, regardless of what position you hold, regardless of what uh, you do as a career or as a business, if you can't communicate well, uh, it's going to be very difficult for you. Uh, but those that communicate very well, whether you are uh, in sales, uh, a lawyer, a nurse, uh, uh, education, uh, really doesn't matter. Uh, those that communicate the best rise to the top, they become the leaders, they become the managers. Uh, you can even look at the highest office in the land, uh, president, a lot of times, you know, a lot of people may not say that uh, for this particular uh, year um, or particular president and administration, but, you know, Barack Obama, for example, one of the best communicators that, that you've probably ever heard, right? Um, regardless of what you think uh, about him personally or whether you agree with him or not, um, when he was in office, uh, the man could communicate. And so I want you guys to really think about that communication and writing, communication and speaking. Um, those are that's a soft skill that you can really uh, utilize and you can really increase and step out of your box. Right. Uh, my wife, for example, um, you know, whenever I first met her, uh, she was an introvert. Right. Um, and over the course of time, she she's become more of an extrovert. She's kind of challenged herself. She stepped out of the box. And, and she just completed her master's in nursing leadership. And I had an opportunity uh, to listen to her presentation. And I'm, you know, I was amazed uh, sitting there listening how, you know, this is the same uh, girl from, you know, nine, 10 years ago that, you know, I would never think would stand up in front of people and actually speak. But now she's a master's in nursing. And, uh, and one result of that is, is because she, she was able to grow in her communication skills, right? So, uh, communication is the first. Uh, the second key, the second skill uh, is leadership. A lot of people think that you have to hold a, a particular position. Thanks, Michael, for joining. Uh, people think you have to hold a position in order to uh, be a leader. Um, leadership is not position. Uh, there's a great book that I recommend to anyone. It's one of my fa it is my favorite leadership book. It's called The Five Levels of Leadership by John Maxwell. And he talks about uh, you know, leadership and how it, the, the first level or the lowest level of leadership is actually position. So when you become a manager, when you become the boss, when you become, you know, a leader in, in, in any way, any positional rank that you receive, um, most of the time people stop there and they think, hey, I'm a leader. Uh, but in reality, you have a long way to go because, you know, leadership is influence. And if you can't influence those around you, if you if people don't want to follow you without the, the, the actual title, uh, you're not going to be a very effective leader and the things you say are not going to be received very well. So you have to seek to grow in those leadership uh, abilities. So whatever job you have, um, what, even in your own home, uh, leadership 
is a skill. Um, there's no such thing as, you know, born leaders. I guess there are people that are that are born with natural leadership tendencies, uh, but those are not always the best leaders. It's those that develop themselves continually. And um, Lebecca, thanks for joining. Um, and and the reality is, if you uh, actually work on this skill, you will grow and develop in ways and and be able to utilize that skill in in ways and in, in areas that you never uh, really thought of. So. Um, first one is communication. The second skill is leadership. And for those of you who want to increase your leadership capability and abilities, and I, I encourage John Maxwell uh, as someone to read and listen to. He actually has a great podcast. If you're into podcasts, uh, the Leadership Podcast, John Maxwell Leadership Podcast. Um, great, great, great information. Uh, and the third skill uh, that's, that I wrote about is self-discipline. Uh, there's several soft skills um, that you can add, you know, that can actually increase your income. But self-discipline, you know, besides communication and leadership is essential because that's the difference, right, between, excuse me, the rich and the poor. Uh, I posted a picture earlier of, you know, the rich mindset and poor mindset, right? Um, there are times where you might want to just, you know, hang out and, you know, watch some Netflix, eat some snacks, you know, I'm guilty of doing that at times with my wife, uh, for example. So it's not, you know, uh, a hard rule that says if you do those things, you're poor or you have a poor mindset, but it's discipline. It's actually allocating time to do the things that are needed, uh, the things you don't necessarily want to do. Um, and one of the quotes that I've, I've posted uh, before is uh, successful people do what unsuccessful people don't want to do. And there was a whole study done on this, actually, and it was found that successful people not only do that, but they don't actually like it uh, just as much as the people that don't want to do it don't like it, right? So successful people that wake up early in the morning, that go to the gym consistently, uh, that do the reading and the planning and sacrifice you know, some of the pleasures in life, it's not that they just enjoy that. Maybe you get to a point where you it becomes a part of you and you enjoy it, but they do it because it's necessary and it takes self-discipline. So whatever you want to achieve in life, whatever you want to accomplish, if you want to increase your income, especially, uh, you have to have self-discipline. Uh, it's the times where you want to talk to your coworkers. It's the times where you want to play on Facebook and YouTube. It's those times where you want to do other things uh, as opposed to, to being productive that keep you back from you know achieving your goals, right? So I encourage you to sit down this weekend you know, if you haven't done so, sit down and write some goals out. Uh, in my book, Three Habits That Attract Success, available on Amazon, I actually walk through that and how to properly set goals in the book. Uh, it's only $2.99 on, on Amazon Kindle if you want to get a copy to help you do that. Um, but sit down, make a plan, uh, create some goals, and start thinking about these skills. And I heard some really good advice on actually adding skills. Uh, if you want to add communication skills, leadership skills, self-discipline, you pick one skill and you go and get the top five books on that skill. And you might even find, you know, top five YouTube channels on that skill. And you go all in on that skill for, you know, a couple of months, you know, a quarter at a time, really three months is a good time frame to just really work, work on yourself in that area. And then after three months of doing that skill, you know, communication, for example, maybe you utilize some of it, maybe you put it into practice throughout that time. And then you go into the next skill and start really reading and, and studying and uh, listening to things pertaining to that skill so that you can improve. Uh, so hope, hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, three soft skills to increase your income. Uh, number one, communication. Number two, leadership. Number three, self-discipline. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, of course, as I mentioned, if you guys uh, want some free coaching, I'm, I'm definitely available and using that uh, right now. You actually get a, a free ebook out of it as well. Uh, so definitely let me know. I'll, I'll drop the link on this video and I look forward to speaking with you guys again soon. Have a great weekend.